Hello, my name is Kim Klasik. I speak soft, but I carry a big stick. When I decided to run for office, I was asked, what makes you qualified? And then I turned around and I asked that reporter, what makes me unqualified? I get talked about a lot. I, I read the comments <laughs> on social media. I get it. I dropped out of college. But you know what? I work hard. I had no idea walking down the streets in Baltimore would be a viral campaign ad. I had no idea that just caring about the black community would make me a target by the black community on the left. But it's okay, because I know with President Trump, I can bring so much to Baltimore City. He talks about opportunity zones, we need that. He talks about school choice, we need that too. We have 13 schools out of 39 where kids graduate not proficient in math. For the past eight years, I've been working with my nonprofit, Workforce Development. We've helped over 200 women become gainfully employed. 30% went on to be financially independent. The only way you lift anyone out of poverty is with employment. And I understand that, and I know everybody else does too. But we have to make sure other people understand that, and I, and I hope that people will vote based on their best interest this time around. As we saw during the coronavirus lockdown, we had to rely on other countries for PPE. We're supposed to be the best country in the world. All of our manufacturing jobs went overseas thanks to NAFTA and Bill Clinton. But I know President Trump will work to bring that biotech industry right back to America. After I'm elected, I, that's right. <laughs> After I'm elected, I hope to work with President Trump to bring that billion-dollar medical equipment industry right back through Baltimore City's port. We'll have apprenticeship programs, career and job training, and I will make sure no one is displaced in the city of Baltimore. We have a big job to do, and I know everybody on this stage can do it, and I thank everyone for your support. It means a lot to me. Thank you.